Hi guys, welcome back to week 101 with your girl. Ola is the name. On today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step how to wash curly hair. Now you know my videos are really to just break it down and make it real simple so you guys can also be able to do it at home, right? So step number one, you take a wide tooth comb and you start combing through your hair. Comb thoroughly, getting rid of all the knots that might be in the hair. You comb from the ends going up to the root, so from bottom going up, and you really comb thoroughly. The hair will get big and bushy, but it's fine. You're not killing the curl, it's all gonna come back. Step number two, you wet the hair so you can be ready for the shampoo. You apply the shampoo in the palm of your hand and you just cover the hair with the shampoo all over. Now at this stage, you'll notice that the hair is really taking a while to catch on to the shampoo. This is because the hair is still full of product and it's still really greasy. So you might want to go in again with the shampoo and really just apply it all throughout the hair, making sure that the hair is foamy enough to actually get started with the wash. So you stroke your hair going downward and you really just stroke it gently covering all the hair with shampoo now if you use glue on your wig like i do you also might just want to put some some shampoo on your lace to just get that clean as well um, and just continue stroking your hair gently um, in a downward motion so step number four would be rinsing the wig so now you open your water and you just rinse the hair you continue just stroking it in a nice downward uh, motion gently so shampoo is really a two-step process so step number five would be the exact same thing that you did in step number four so you put shampoo all over the hair and rinse the hair thoroughly until it's clean step number six is conditioning now this is really the the gist of the matter like you really need to go in with your conditioner this is where the hair really gets the moisture and you know it really just comes back to life cover the hair all in conditioner open it up even inside and and just put the conditioner go in with it and just carry on stroking in a downward motion making sure to just cover every single part of the hair with the conditioner let it rest for a while say maybe 30 minutes so that the moisture really just gets into the hair come back and just comb it remember starting from the ends going up to the root again just really comb through the hair so it comes to life even before rinsing the hair step number seven will be um, rinsing the hair you rinse the hair just let the water run you know over the hair rinse the hair thoroughly make sure that there is no more conditioner left in the hair and the water that drips out at the end is really just clean water now on the last wash i really don't like squeezing the water out of the hair so i just hold the hair up and just let it drip and then place it onto a clean towel and then take it outside where i will let it dry naturally so usually i prefer just doing this process overnight because i really don't like my hair staying out too long in the sun because it might be over dry look at that honeys this really looks amazing i'm really just happy with the results the curl really looks bouncy again it's no longer heavy and greasy as it was before i really enjoyed this outcome i hope you guys will also be able to achieve this at home please stay tuned for part two of this video where i'll be showing you guys how to achieve the wet look with our in-house curl activator and also how to just lock in that curl I'm